Guys, I got kicked out of offlane TV. They said I'm too pretty to be part of one. Are you moving or is OTV moving? So rule of, I don't, <laughs> I'm sure that this is so boring and it probably doesn't help my stream or whatever, but basically as a rule of thumb, which I'm sure you guys have realized by now, I don't try to talk about things that don't relate to me unless it's like somebody really directly brings it up or whatever. But anyways, I really only play or talk about myself and I never want to accidentally leak something or I never want to overstep someone's boundary on what they're sharing on their own stream. So when it comes to like who I'm moving with, when I'm moving, whatever, I kind of keep it to myself. I just really, I don't know. I'm really scared of leaking something or sharing something that somebody wasn't ready to share on stream or talk about yet. So yeah, you see how she doesn't air out other people's business? Very demure, very mindful. Bro, that is a meme that just took the internet by the storm. I've never seen a meme tra travel literally so fast. You see how I do my makeup for work? Very demure, very mindful. Well, okay, this is kind of sad, but I don't want you guys to be sad. Genji just went to the vet, and this is the second time he's gotten an x-ray. Um, And Genji has an enlarged heart, which is really fitting because he's such a lover boy. Of course, he has a big heart. He might have an underlying heart disease, but we don't know yet. I'm trying not to freak out. We have to go get him an echocardiogram or whatever. Um, he also has this coughing fit. Like it looks, I don't know. I'm like, I kept telling the vet since he was little. I'm like, hey, like does Genji have, we think he has asthma or something. Like he's always had this coughing fit ever since he was really, really young. My pup was born and has lived with a heart condition her whole life and she's doing great. Yeah, that's what the vet said. The vet said that sometimes like cats have, or animals in general have this heart disease, but they can go their whole life being just fine. So I did not deal with my cat's coughing fit when he was younger and he ended up having to go to the emergency for a collapsed lung. Oh my God. Well, I've sent Genji to the vet multiple times for this cough and it has happened since he was young and the vet has seen him and I've repeatedly been like, hey, it's like, he has this cough. So they're like, I don't know, his lungs sound fine. I'm like, okay. Are you wearing makeup? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> yes. I think I've been a happy girl, but also a sad girl. And I don't know how to express, express this really eloquently, but I feel like I'm unfulfilled in my life specifically because I don't go outside a lot. Now, I know it's a me problem. All of my happiness, I think, comes from gratitude of what life has given me. I also know that I am unhappy because my comfort zone is not where I am the most fulfilled. I think back on my life in Washington, which if you've been around, you guys know, I love my life back in Washington in terms of like the connection to nature that I had there was really important to me. And then I didn't know I was giving up when I moved to LA. I didn't, I just didn't know life outside of Washington. So I didn't know that it was gonna be like this when I moved here, but I, it is really hard for me to connect to nature in LA. That being said, keep thinking about that quote that's like, you cannot keep your old life and live and like move to your new life like you have to give up your old life to take your new life and i'm like i think that's gonna be me guys and i'm like yeah wow this is not what i would have imagined for myself being 27 need a plant which is a new place. kind of hitting me like a bunch of bricks i'm glad that you're able to do what you enjoy though in terms of pursuing your career and traveling and being financially dependent i'm not trying to guilt by saying that others have it worse than you but i'm when i say by the time that i'm 27 this is not what i imagined it's basically like i'm so far from nature and i feel so disconnected from humans like something that i love i love to meet new people and i don't meet anybody new i know that there's a sadness in me because i don't go outside that often i go on a hike in la i'm like this was not what i wanted i'm not in a crisis per se per se it's more just like i really totally recognize that i have felt this feel like this uh, feeling in la for like the last three years and I think I'm just really fully coming to the understanding of, oh, I think I just have to leave LA. This is probably not my end game, but I also understand that LA was necessary for me to be where I am now. What's your ideal place to live, if not LA? I think my ideal place is probably Washington. I dream about my parents four times a week. Like I literally just dream about like having dinner with my parents hanging out with my mom, watching TV. Like, it's just like really mundane shit. Um, 
And I think not being around my parents and not being able to see my family as often is affecting me. And this is a naive thought that I had that I've talked about before, but it's just, it's like, you don't, you don't, it's just being young. It's literally just being young and naive. But I literally remember thinking to myself, oh, I'm going to move to LA. I'm going to do my shit. I'm going to work really hard. And then I'm going to come back and nothing will have changed. But Obviously, that's not like how life works. And I, it feels like a, like a loss of innocence when you go home and your mom has a new doctor's appointment and the rug has changed. They got a new fridge. Your childhood bedroom is now an office. Like, I don't know how to explain the feeling. It's just like, I just could not have prepared myself for it. It was just so naive of me to think that, oh, of course life would just, of course things change. Of course life changes. My parents' lives are happening at the same time that my life is happening. But I just had this naive thought that, great, I'm gonna go do the things that I need to do. I'm gonna go to Washington, or sorry, I'm gonna go to LA, and then I'll be back in a couple of years and I'll just pick up where I started or left off. No, no, it's obviously that's not how it works. But it kills me. If you move back to your hometown, does that mean you'll be leaving OTV? Mm, I mean, I don't know. I imagine that I would just fly more frequently for OTV. I would rather, I would way rather like prioritize living at home, seeing my parents way more and just flying more frequently for OTV where, and then having my like, home base be where my family is. But alas, that's not happening yet because I, I just like, I have one foot in and one foot out right now. Life is trading joys. No, that's actually how I feel. So I think I'm gonna have one probably good last year in LA. And then next year, I don't know. I'm ready for the change. Yo, stop. Hey, Sean, how old are you? Uh, 24. It's crazy because I would actually believe that. Because of how I Chat, how, of how old I do you think Sean is? You're getting a lot of 30. You're giving 30 vibes. If you had to guess how old I was based off nothing, would you think that I would also land on my age? You look 24. Well, not my age, sorry, like my vibes. Your vibes are like 18. Depends what you laugh at. I think okay, wait. I laugh at such stupid things. I'd be like, oh, are you 12? Okay, like, no, no, no. I, I'm gonna just, okay, do not, like, this is not, I do not mean this in an offensive way, okay? He's about to offend me. No, 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 no. Like, I know, I genuinely. No, 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 no it's, let me describe you. it. Let me describe it, okay? To me, you are in actually the best way, like a 16 year old boy. Like, emotionally intelligent though you're like you are 30 30 whatever but like fun wise you're just like a you're goofy and you kind of like don't take things seriously but you do like you do I'm when you trade. need to but like you just are like a little 15 year old boy like you Pretty wear cool, a calm, yeah you wear your like hat backwards and you're like on a skateboard and like you know i'm like peter pan but i don't kidnap children that was not the vibe that i was going for no <laughs> let me give a rundown so basically sean was like when are you glowing jody in your in, you know during your whoa, cycle whoa, <laughs> you, whoa. You, know, you literally did you were like when when do women glow i was like oh usually when they're ovulating and then skip forward some bit and i don't really know how we ended up here and sean was like when do i need to be scared of women basically right you were like when do i need to be scared of ovulate what did you say i don't even know how Never, we because all women are always angels Basically, Sean was like, you could never date anyone ever again. What game would you choose to like take up your time? And wow was the answer. And then I was like, I was like, well, I don't think you guys need to ever worry about ovulating women if you're playing World of Warcraft. Which is fine because we chose World of Warcraft over ovulating women anyways. Imagine a college party with no women. A sausage fest? Hot dog fest. Okay, I'm imagining it. You just couldn't, like, a party with only hot dogs would just be the worst party ever. You would need some kind of seafood, like clams. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Why'd you laugh? I'm it's crazy that food. you're referring- No. Yes, I am. I'm just trying to have a diverse ass party because you went to a school all of white people and I'm trying to have a diverse party so everyone feels included and welcome. Everyone knows clams and hot dogs. That's a good party. That sounds like a... Clams and hot dogs do not go together. Sometimes they do. Especially if they have chemistry. What the fuck is this guy on about? I'm gonna ask this question to my chat, but I can't look because I'm eating. Could you look through chat? Hey chat, yeah. what's a good two-player game shot I can play? Oh, we got one. Rainbow Six Siege. Huh? Master one, 17. That was a great suggestion. Ban him, Jody. Get him. <laughs> Wait, no, this guy, Brink 2T, World of Warcraft. I mean, I didn't want Bro. to. I didn't want to, but that is a two-player game. We wouldn't have fun. Because I'm an well, ovulating okay. woman. You're ovulating? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> 
World of Warcraft might kill us. <laughs> World of Warcraft and Avi and Loon just like don't go together. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm not. I'm not Avi. Oh gosh. I'm on my period. Oh.